All right, so today, not doing a fishing video, maybe tomorrow. I might go back to Shavery Lake and uh, do a little fishing video, but uh, I'm here at uh, another uh, National Wildlife uh, Refuge. My uh, camera's in the backpack and a whole bunch of cows over there, so it's not an auto where you can drive your car around, so it's closed off, but it's uh, a walking path, so. We're just gonna go do a little walking and uh, I'm just by myself out here and there's nobody out here so I might do a little walk and see what I can find. I brought my knife also just in case of anything, wildlife or people. And hopefully my car is safe cause there's nobody out here so I might not venture out too far cause I don't want somebody coming come in and break into my car either. But uh, it looks like a pretty dead rail, so I don't think anybody's gonna be coming over here, but you never know. So, heading out that way. There's so many birds right here. So many birds. I don't wanna creep them out. There's like a whole bunch of sand crane in front of me. It looks like a desert, but there's even more flying in, watch. I don't know if you can see it right there. They're flying in. They're gonna go join the rest of the pack. There's like a whole bunch over there. A whole bunch. That's crazy. There's so many of them. Wow. I'm trying to carry my camera. Hopefully I don't spook them. So I'm walking super carefully because I, I really don't want to spook them. I just want to get some picture. I don't want to be talking too much too. This is the closest I've ever been to sand crane. Just, just look at what's on the side of me. It's all birds. I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera, but it's all birds. I'm trying not to freak them out. Hopefully they gain my, I could gain their trust and uh, they don't mind me getting closer so far they don't mind me too much because i'm not doing anything crazy but as long as i don't creep them out i want to get to this bend right here i want to get to this bend right here and like just sit right there at the bend and watch them because uh, the sandhill cranes are like above me in front of me to my right and to my left but if I could get right there, right in front of where the water is at, I think I'd be good. Because uh, they like the water. They need the water. Just look at that. They're like right there. So, try not to spook them. Well, so much for not scaring the birds. <laughs> yeah, I walk a little bit further and uh, yeah, this ain't happening. They all got scared. They flew away. <laughs> so yeah it, it didn't work so well not as planned I, I figure I could get a little bit closer maybe come a little bit over here and uh I might be able to get uh, a little closer but every time I come closer they'll fly away and just keep on getting further and further and uh I, I scare a whole bunch of them off already so I don't know but uh <laughs> oh man too far like right now i don't like it because um the distance is not bad but i don't want it because uh they're kind of pixelated and plus uh they're pixelated because of the heat wave so like you can't really see the eye right here but uh there's a heat wave so if you look at the picture when you snap the picture take a picture the heat wave is all distorted so it's like making all these little zigzag lines so nothing's sharp so unless i'm shooting something with them like 50 feet or closer it's it's not even worth it so still good uh if early this morning the fog if it wasn't so foggy it was so thick i, I didn't even want to come over here but since the fog lifted i figure uh, i'll come by and check but uh if i came by during the fog time i could have been able to sneak up a little bit better because they wouldn't be able to see me i wouldn't be able to see them but at least i could hear them so but you know what it's not bad um I think I might 
work my way back and probably shoot some sparrows or hawks where uh, it's a little bit easier to get because uh, <clears throat> those uh, sand hill cranes, sand hill crane are too too far out, too far out of my reach, and uh, the just that distance just makes a picture look like crap. So it's not even worth it. All right, I'm gonna work my way back. It's picking up better than what I can actually see. So yeah, I'm going like super slow, dude. I can't even see. See, I don't know how the camera's picking it up better than I could. But yeah, it's pretty foggy. All right, so it's crazy that that uh, Toyota pickup over there, dude. Their wheel came off. Like their their back uh, driver wheel came off of the the freaking truck. So the the back wheel is actually uh, on the road on the brakes on the rotor, which is nuts. So damn, they're stuck. All right, we're back at Shaver Lake. Uh, last weekend, it snowed really good, so some of the some parts of the mountains all covered up in snow. The part behind me, too much sun, so all kind of melted. But uh, the north north side still covered in snow. I'm doing about 2.3 miles per hour. I might need to slow it down a bit. Still need to find my speed. Uh, what speed they like the best. And if I can find some fish, let's see if we'll strike. Still pretty empty right here. Nothing might go in the middle. A couple boats in the middle. A little bit more people this week. Which is nice. People getting out, having fun, catching fish having a blast and put a food on the table. Everybody needs a break. We were being locked in too long. So look at that. Snow. Snow. Little bits of it. Most of it's been no town already. Wasn't too much snow but hopefully we see some more. A good rain this year but need more snow. Ooh, it's cold in here. Cold in the shade. Still see no fish. Come on, fishy. Where are you at? Are you in the deep where it's nice and warm? In the shallowest. Cold. Covered it all up so I don't scratch the crap out of my my bottom. Oh yeah, nice and hot. Sure makes it hard to move up. It's too bulky. Don't put rain boots on. See, I can't even grab it because of the rain boots. I can't bend my feet right. Bend my feet. 
all the way like this to go grab my noodle. But because of the rain boots, you can't bend your feet. So it makes it really annoying to do things. So I might have to just leave the rain boots off. Yep. Who's screaming? I was gonna try to go to the coast and uh, do some crabbing and some fishing, but it seems like the, the weather just hasn't been cooperating with me. It seems like uh, whenever I'm off, the the tide, the wind, everything just doesn't want to match up. So it's not worth it going all the way to the coast and then having all the gear and not be able to be on the water. Just having to sit on the, the car and Coming back home and tearing it all back down. That's nah, just a lot of work. So I think I might be done with ocean fishing for this year since it's only like a week and a half left or two weeks or whatever it is. A week and a half left. I'll just go crabbing next year. During the beginning of the year or so. I might go back and uh, do some foraging, but other than that. Fishing wise in the ocean this year, I think I'm done. Today's uh, what, December 19, 20, something like that. But, trying to eat some food. And then uh, probably go back and uh, put on some smaller lures and try, try kind of around the rocks, around the shoreline, try to get some of the bigger trout or some brown trout or whatever it is, but we'll see after I eat. Time to do some casting. Guess the trolling isn't doing too well for me. So, do a little bit of casting. See if I can get a trout to bite from these rocks. I know we got one. I'm gonna mess them to drag. Took the jerk bait right at the surface. It's a rainbow. GoPro turned off. They all, both of them did. Ugh, this guy got double. Dang, he ain't going anywhere. Got hooked twice. That shit sucked. That little guy. He's got an 
Ranger pretty well, so it's gonna die. So I'm just gonna keep it. Or else I will let it go. It's kinda small. So the trout is still very alive on my stringer, so I think I'm just gonna release it. I think it's fine. I thought it might be a uh, too bad in condition to release it because it, it got hooked on the face and got hooked on the side. But it looked like it's fighting really strong, so I'm just gonna release it. still there if it is I'm gonna catch it watch it right in front of me there's something in here Let's see if he'll bite Oh, got it. <laughs> oh, it came out. What the heck? <laughs> oh, what the heck? It didn't hook up right. Damn it. So, I did a couple more casting, changed a few lures, and uh, nothing really want to bite. Even the same fish here didn't want to bite anymore. I think it swam off, but uh, yeah, I got back to the the ramp, and I guess people are doing pretty well on kokanee versus uh, the trout. And I I might need to go back and buy some more actual trout lure and kokanee lure. All right, so I did a little modification. It's not exactly the most beautiful thing, prettiest thing, whatever you want to call it, but uh, it works now. So before um, the box. If you do the this way, not the vertical hatch, but the the rectangular hatch, sideways hatch, the the box will be a little too high, and usually the line will sit a little higher, about half an inch higher, and it'll be uh, pretty hard to close the door. So you pretty much have to step it with your feet, press it down really hard, and when you do this part right here usually kind of like pop up a little bit because the lid's forcing the box down so all this plastic kind of like bump up a little bit so it's a lot more sturdier i don't know it's really dirty i just came back from fishing and uh it's still pretty foggy but um yeah so usually the line of the box will be higher so it'll close down to like right here and then you had to like use your feet or muscle it down to twist and then as you're holding it down you're like twisting as your feet applying pressure onto it but now that i modified it that's why you see the, the ugly uh, duct tape down there so i use the gun no, no i use my torch and i torch my knife until it turns all red because i don't have uh i could have used my uh one of my saws or um one of my rotary tool but yeah, if I have the torch in hand, uh, I just feel like using the torch, but uh, yeah, now it closed nicely. And that's a twist. One hand. Easy peasy. Uh, the box itself isn't the prettiest. 
And uh, since it takes two hands to pull it out, let me uh, move the camera real quick. All right. So yeah, it's a little, it's a little ugly. Not exactly the, the prettiest box, but uh, yeah. It's a twenty-five dollar box, cut in half, all melted together back again. So I cut about right here. And then I heat torched it, kind of glue the messy bits around, and then, uh, yeah, and then I pretty much uh, just duct tape around it, and it works before I start breaking up my hatch or messing up my kayak, so I'd rather ruin a $25 box than ruin my kayak, so now it slips in. Door, easy close, nothing bulging, easy peasy.